Just look at this picture. These tigers and cats all happy. They all just ate. They're just cleaning themselves. And they all just had a great dinner. I was just sitting here watching this now and I took a picture and I thought, wow, no, let me make a video of this. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Two tigers just each had about four and a half kilograms, about nine pounds of chicken, each of them. And these little ones are still feasting away. I actually leave this roll of lawn here because just behind it, I actually hide their food to defrost. And I just realized that I should actually take the food out exactly at the right time because if you take it out too early then <sighs> there's flies some flies will appear and stick around if you take it too late it's not defrosted so you should actually keep a schedule of when to take out the tiger's food out of the freezer because if you don't do it at the right time you have to run around and try and get it defrosted before they get hungry and if you take it out too early you attract flies and if you attract the flies the lizards shows up because they eat the flies and uh, that's no problem for me I don't really mind it he just heard a truck behind the house now. There's a truck in the, in the road. And, and now they're going to check out the truck. <laughs> or whatever it is. They will still decide what is making that noise. Enzo peeking around the corner. And Diego joining him. Oh, and he just got a fright. He did not expect Diego to be there when he turned around. So even a tiger can get a fright. <laughs> I don't know these videos that I keep making just changes every day there's something else happening I can just take the camera and start making a video and something will happen so <laughs> and it's all original it's nothing is made up or I just take the camera and start filming and whatever happens, happens. He's so curious now, looking through this fence to the road. I've got a gate there. People always, when they walk around, and they peek into the gate and see if they can try and see the tigers. And the tigers probably sit there wondering, oh, when are those people coming back? We want to see them because they like to watch them. <laughs> Actually, one thing I've noticed, Diego will show up all of a sudden to look at the people. Enzo tends to walk away first and he goes and hides away into the bushes for a few minutes and then he comes out. He just probably needs to get his confidence before facing just anybody. But Diego, he doesn't care. He just shows up by the gate and he likes it when people come and have a look. So, shows you that the, the personality change. Sorry about that, guys. Got a worker here at the back helping me to build that wall and stuff. And uh, I didn't realize. I'm making a video, yeah? So, I hope you're not watching this late at night with the volume all the way up and all of a sudden somebody grinds in the background. So, you know, let me just walk over this way. Oh, he just stepped on something there. It's also another thing that people don't really realize about tigers, or any animal for that matter. They need a nice surface to walk on. 
you know if you just let them right behind this wall is a field just a empty area real grass real sun real everything that South Africa offers and I've walked through there the other day and I realized the tiger are not able to walk through that field there is this um, especially if there was a fire you know those weeds uh, when they when they burn down they become short and hard and sharp and if you have to walk there barefoot it'll stick right into your foot and the same goes for the tigers so just outside these walls it's a very hostile environment for any kind of animal uh, I think the only animals around here that can take it all is the birds because they don't really have a problem with walking on places like like this you know on on those weeds but if you think about it that tiger is only he's got a foot he's got toes on that foot he's got skin underneath sure it's a bit harder than well just about any human foot but it's still a foot and he's when when you put his weight on that one foot it's a lot of pressure because he weighs at least well, 250 kilograms that's about 500 pounds and when he walks and he puts all his weight on one or only two of those feet it's a lot of pressure and if it's a sharp surface it's going to get cut or it's going to stick into his foot so yeah that's something that people don't really think about if you just let him walk anyway he can get hurt and especially if he needs that to hunt with what will what those are his, his tools you know he needs those feet to get to the prey and then you need to take down that prey now I don't know if you've ever seen what the prey looks like in the wild um, but in South Africa well there's a lot of uh, wild uh, wildebeest that's what they call it I know in, in English but uh, it's uh, and kudus and impala and well any kind of buck uh, that you can find and they are huge to be able to take down something like that they need to be quite a few um, I know that lions stay hunting packs and the females go and do the hunting but a tiger what will he do what will they do will they just run towards it and take it down they are very strong but it's a fight it's a physical fight and he needs the right tools so if his feet are damaged with these sharp things all over and thorns you know around my house i always tell people especially children when they play here next to my house i tell them listen there's thorns there you cannot go there and i've carried quite a few children out of those um, areas uh, when they're crying and take out the thorns out of their feet so <laughs> that's things that people don't realize about the wild it's really wild and uh, yeah well Enzo just tripping over something there almost that triggered this whole conversation so I'm not prepared for any of this I just talk and <laughs> but I've seen how this thing works um, I, I can tell that even these big predators they've got they don't they don't always come with the right tools for the wild and if they do for how long can they sustain it I know that most of these tigers only live about nine or ten years in in the wild 
And in captivity, well, I'm not really sure, but I think they can do a, at least a 25, a, a good 25 years, and maybe even 30. I hope that Enzo or Diego or ever Tiger could have a good life for about 30 years. I think the most important thing about that is the teeth. You have to give them the right calcium at the right time when that teeth develops and that could last throughout his life. Um, I think if you cut down on his calcium intake when he's a cub, that could really set him back for life. So with Ozzy that was the case. And I've spoken a lot about it. And I hope that people will know that. And the message gets to the right people. And they will be able to, well, take care of whatever cubs comes along. So yeah, I'm going to leave this message right there. I think it's important for the tigers. Lions, any cat for that matter, even your house cat, to get enough calcium when they're little kittens or cubs. Great, thanks for watching guys. I'll be making more videos. Sorry about the noise in the background. We are working as well. I can't just stop that guy every time I want to make a video. <laughs> but I'll try and make these videos as pleasant as possible in the, in the future. Have a good night.